guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i want to share my stitch fix with you guys i have my stitch fix here with you i have not opened it or anything yet i was going to open and unveil it with you guys and then what i'm going to do is try everything on and show you guys how everything fits and see what I decide to keep. If you're not familiar with what Stitch Fix is, it is a clothing subscription service where you can have it delivered to you however often you would like for it to be. I have mine delivered right around once a month, so that's how often I choose to do it, just because I really enjoy the clothing choices that they have given me. I have loved most of the items that I've chosen, so it does require a $20 styling fee, but if you decide to keep anything, you can deduct that $20 off. If you send everything back, then the, you lose the 20 bucks, so it's more often than not, better off to find something within the fix to keep for yourself. If you decide to keep all five items that they send you, then you get deduct 25%. So again, another discount if you decide to keep it all. But I have not kept out everything in a stitch fix yet, to be honest with you, just because I, f I always find one piece that I'm like, no, if they, they would have sent this to me in like this, then I've been, it would have been great. But it always ends up that I always have to send one piece back or two pieces back, something like that. But that could be me because I'm not working with my stylist as much as I probably should be because I know you can leave your stylist notes and everything. I did leave my stylist notes this time that I wanted sweaters, which is unfortunate because I requested this, this fix early so that we could take I could take some items with me to Florida. So and I requested sweaters. Guess I wasn't thinking too clearly. Either way, let's go ahead and see what everything see what's in my stitch fix here. So I'm gonna pull open the tape here, maybe. Yes. I'm opening it backwards because I didn't have scissors with me. So you do get a little bundle. Here is my bundle for this time. It looks very colorful. I see some purple in there. I love purple. So hopefully I'm going to love what that, whatever that purple is. They do send you a bag too that you can send anything back that you decide not to keep. So anything that you decide that, hey, I, this doesn't work for me, throw it in this bag, send it back. Nothing. It's super easy. So they do also send you a card with some information that's going to tell you everything about your fix. So it's going to give you some styling tips. It's going to give you the pricing breakdown and all that. So for now, I'm not going to look at this card. We're going to wait until I've tried everything on because I kind of want to feel for whether or not I like the item, not the price. So let's hold on to that for now. So let's see what's inside of this little thing. So here is our little pink, our little, I don't know, it looks like a burrito. All right. Ooh, we got lots of good things in here, it looks like. Okay, so the first thing is from a company called Fun to Fun. This is the shirt right here. Ooh, I really like this. This looks actually really cute. It's very soft. What is the material made of? Uh, it says it's made in China. I don't see a label telling me what the material is made of. Let's see, here we go. Rayon. So, and it's machine, machine washable, so that's always important for me because I do not do dry cleaning stuff, so no way. It does have like a little cuff here that you can cuff it with a little button and everything, so that's super cute. It looks like it's going to be a little bit longer, but then again, it might not be because I, it always, everything always looks bigger until you put it on. Then you put it on, you're like, whoa, this actually fits snug. Okay, so that is in a size medium. The next thing I have in here is, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a sweatshirt, I think. It's like a lightweight sweatshirt with pockets maybe? No, no pockets. I love sweatshirts with pockets, but it's just a typical black, like it's not really a sweatshirt. It's a very thin material. It's very, very, very soft. Um, let's see what it's made out of <laughs> and let's see who it's by. This is by Lila Jade and it's a size medium made in the United States. Uh, let's see what it's made out of. It says it's made out of 92% modile, I'm not sure what modile is, and 8% spandex, so it's going to stretch with you. So that's pretty good. feels very, very soft. I love the way it feels so far. So, so far, I'm loving the way everything's feeling. The next thing is this right here. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like the off-the-shoulder sweaters that are like this right here. I don't know why. I just don't like those. I mean, this is first impressions. It looks really thin. It's like a very um holy sweater almost and this is by who is this by this is by dj juju dj and juju this is a cotyledon cold shoulder pullover and it's a size medium um let's see what it's made out of i like telling you guys everything that it's made out of just in case you guys are curious this has a snag in it already too i'm seeing that's oh no it's just a loose string awesome 
So this is made out of 100% acrylic. So it's an acrylic sweater. I don't know, just something about it. I, I like the purple, but then now that I've seen it, I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. Then we have this plaid shirt. Here's the plaid shirt by ID23. It's made in China. It's very soft. Everything's very soft, so I have to give them that. Um, let's see. I said sweaters. These are not sweaters. Maybe I said comfy clothes. I have no idea what I told them now. Um, this is made out of, what is this made out of? Rayon, 100% rayon. So there's what it looks like. It looks very 4th of July-ish. I don't know. I don't know about this one either, guys. Not looking so hot this time. Okay, and then the last shirt here is this one right here. It's a blue, like a powder blue. And it is, it does have like a, like a cutout detail in the back here. So I don't know if you can tell it or not. I'm sure you'll be able to tell it more once I try it on. Uh, and this is made in China. This is by Abby and Gail. Uh, this is the Beck, Beckett Open Back Knit Top. And it says the color's navy. That doesn't look like navy to me, but okay, I could be colorblind. Um, this is 73% rayon and 27% polyester. So that's the material, what it's made out of. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go try everything on and then I'm going to give you guys my opinion as I'm trying it on so you can tell how much I'm going to like things and how much I'm not going to like things. And then at the end, I'll tell you guys the pricing and stuff like that. So hang tight. We're going to go try it all on. Okay, guys, here is the first piece, the one with like the cutout detail in the back of the shirt. I really like the way it feels on. It's very, very soft. It feels like almost like a t-shirt material. So it feels like I'm wearing one of my husband's comfy t-shirts. It does, like, it's a little bit shorter in the front than it is in the back. It like, kind of swoops down. And then, of course, it's got the open back detail here going on that kind of swoops down. I actually like the back detail to it. I think the back detail is really, really cute. So that, for me, and the shirt itself feels very, very comfortable. So depending upon how much this one is, this one I feel like could be a keep because I really like the way it fits, the way it feels. I don't feel like it's too loose or too baggy, and I definitely don't feel like it's too snug. So... I really like this shirt. I'll show you guys a little bit closer so you can see the detail to the back here. How it kind of, it reminds me of like a very fancy dress. I don't know why, but it just does. So I really like that detail there. And then of course I said, like I said, I like how it kind of covers, comes down just a little bit further on your bottom. It's not going to cover your bottom, but it comes down just a little bit further. So I like that as well. So hang tight. I'm going to go try another one on. So far this one is a win. Okay guys, here is the stripe shirt. <laughs> I don't really like this shirt for some reason on me. I don't know why. It does have the detail. Where it's like if I leave it like down and not button it, it's kind of short on me. I do have longer arms. But then you can fold it up. So that's the bonus. You can fold it up and it has like the little spot here that you can button it and everything like that. So at least that part helps out. I think it's cute. I just, I'm not a huge plaid style shirt it does come longer down towards the bottom here so you can tell that it's gonna cover your bottom I just don't know why I just don't like the shirt I feel like I'm gonna go on a picnic or something I feel like like let's go on a picnic today I don't know why but this shirt just doesn't do it for me it doesn't really do much it doesn't excite me so and I if I'm going to spend money on clothing I want to be excited about it so this one I am not excited about so I know Okay guys, here is the purple sweater. It does have like the cold shoulder detail on the slit on the shoulders here. I don't know why, but this sweater just feels really boxy. I feel like it just kind of like makes me look really broad. It makes me look very square. I don't like the actual look of the sweater on me myself. It's cute, like the color and everything and the design. I just feel like it's too boxy. It does have like the little side slit here and everything. I just feel like it makes me look really boxy. Is it just me or do I look boxy to you guys too? Do I feel like I need to like put some shoulder pads on it and go suit up for football? I feel like that's what I need to do. This one just is, is, is another no. Okay guys, I have the one that kind of looks like a sweatshirt on now. So this one is so comfortable. It's like the first one I tried on. It's very, very comfortable and cozy, kind of like a t-shirt material, but I feel like it's supposed to be like a cooler, like a warmer weather sweatshirt type of thing. It's really cute on. I like the little detail here. It's got some piping along here. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's got some piping along here that's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like it accentuates like your waist a little bit. And then it's got the little drawstrings here. It does have a hood in the back. So it's got a little hood in the back. It is a little bit longer. I thought it was going to be longer. Like I told you guys, sometimes when you feel like you're trying things on, I feel like 
you look at it and you're like, wow, that's really big. It's going to fit really like nice and long, but this doesn't really fit as long as I thought it was going to. So I don't know. I really kind of like it, but then again, it also depends on the price of it. So I need to check the price and see how much this is. So far, I'm kind of torn between the blue one and this one here because I know it's just a typical bling black shirt, but the comfort of it is what I love. I love comfortable clothing. I love things that I can just throw on and just kind of go about my day. And this is something I feel like I could do that with. The only thing that would make this better is if it had pockets. If it had pockets, I would absolutely love it. This would be like hands down a win for me. So other than that, I mean, it's really soft though. So we'll have to check the price on this one. Okay guys, I have this last button up shirt. It does have two buttons here. That's all the buttons that it is. And then it kind of like scoops on the side on both sides here. It's very, very soft and flowy. This is like, again, a perfect shirt to wear like when you just want to be casual, but you still want to look kind of put together. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off for this is like the pocket here is really wrinkled from how they had it packed into the packaging. So it's got kind of giving me a weird looking vibe right here going on in my chest. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but like, look at this vibe it's got going on here. I don't know about that. But the, the other thing that I don't really like is the sleeves. Like you can fold them up and everything, but for me, like I have bigger arms. So if I try to button this down right here, it's too snug. It's, it fits like really snug. So like, oh, wait a minute. It's not as bad now. Maybe I just made a liar out of myself. Maybe it was because I was trying to put it on and I was trying to hurry and trying to figure this out. I don't know. It's not as bad as I thought it was, but I'm not sure about the quarter sleeves in the first place, the three quarter sleeves in the first place. I would rather have it folded. I like it better folded. So for me, I think it's a really cute shirt, but again, this is going to have to depend on the price because I know some things from Stitch Chicks can be pretty expensive. So if this is not too pricey, then this is something that I may end up keeping because I really do like the way it fits. Like I said, it's going to come down pretty far in the butt area, so I really like that. So you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with leggings. I like the way it fits. I like the way it feels. It's kind of loose and like, I don't know, it feels very comfortable. So let's go check out the pricing now, so hang tight. Okay guys, I have tried everything on now. My hair looks like a complete train wreck, and that's okay. It was fun trying all, it all on at least. So now let's go ahead and figure out pricing for this. I'm going to go from least favorite to favorite. So there maybe I'll kind of keep you guys guessing which one was my favorite. So the first one we're going to talk about, which was my least favorite, is the purple sweater. So this purple sweater by DJ Juju, which is a really interesting company name. This sweater is uh, $44. So honestly, I feel like the sweater just was too boxy on me. I feel like it just didn't look that good. Let me know if you felt differently about it. I don't know. I just felt like I was like ready to suit up and go play football or something because it was just, it was just too boxy. So this I'm actually going to probably pass on, but I will tell you guys the whole total too here in the end. And then maybe we might have to change her on and just maybe see if somebody else might enjoy this. I don't know. We'll have to see. The next one is this one here and this is by ID23. So this is the plaid looking shirt where I felt like I was going to go on a picnic. This one is by ID23. This is called the Shaylin One Pocket Top and this is a $38 shirt. So that's not a bad value for the shirt, but honestly, I just don't really like the plaid to it. I don't know why, what it is about it, but something about it just makes me think of going on a picnic and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, is that a bad thing? Honestly, no, it's not. I mean, I'd love to go on a picnic. Maybe I could get it and say, hey, honey, take me on a picnic. Maybe that's, that's what I should do. Okay, so that is $38, like I said. The next one is by the company, what is this called? Lila Jade. And the Lila Jade, this is the Quinlan, Queen, Queen Knit Hoodie. So this is the black hoodie, the one that has like kind of like the piping down the sides here. And this is $58. $58 for this, honestly, I don't feel is worth it. Not in my opinion. I feel like I've seen things similar to this, like at Walmart and things like that. It is very cute, but $58 for it? No, no, it's totally not worth $58 in my opinion. The next one is this one right here is by, who is this by? Where is your tag? Fun to fun. So fun to fun is the Mackenzie Henley blouse. So here is the Henley blouse, the black and like, I think that's like a pinkish, taupe. I have no idea honestly what that other color is. It's got kind of like this confetti looking print all over it. It is very, very soft. I love the way this one feels. So this is close to my favorite. This one is $44 and I feel like it's not a bad value whatsoever for the shirt because I feel like this looked kind of cute on, especially with my black capris I'm wearing today. I just think it's cute. I just noticed there's a button detail in the back too. There's a little button detail there, which 
I love detailed clothing. I think the more detail you put into your clothing, I think it just makes it cuter. So this is really cute. 44 bucks. Not too shabby. The last one right here, you guys probably guessed now, is the blue one. And this is my favorite one out of all of them. The first one I tried on, this is by Abby and Gail. And this is called the Beckett Open Back Knit Top. So here's what it looks like. It's the blue one. I love the way this feels. I like the drapey back to it. It reminds me of like a fancy dress or something. Like it's a fancy dress and a comfy shirt. So that's like the best in both, both worlds in my opinion. The other thing that's the best about this is the price of the shirt. This is 34 bucks, guys. This is not bad at all. So I think if I decide to keep both, if I decide to keep two, it's gonna be these two here. If I decide to keep them all, let me tell you what the price would be. So the total price, the stylus total is $218. So $218 for five different shirts is kind of pricey. Then you get the buy five discount, which is $54.50. So that's not too shabby of a discount. Then I have a credit of the styling fee, which is $20. And then I have a $5 promotional credit, which is from one of you guys signing up. Thank you so much for signing up. If you've signed up for your Stitch Fix, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and then so my order total, if I purchased all five pieces, would be $138. So technically, if I bought just the two shirts that I like, it's going to be, what, $78. So I'd still be better off just to purchase the two that I really enjoy versus getting the all five, in my opinion. Let me know what you think, but I think... Honestly, I'm going to probably end up purchasing both of these because I really like them. I think they're cute. I think they're stylish. So I am really loving Stitch Fix. Let me know what you think of Stitch Fix. If you signed up for Stitch Fix, let me know how your first fix was. If you do Stitch Fix videos, let me know because I'd love to watch them. They're one of my things that I love to watch. Like people get their Stitch Fix, try them on and things like that. If you're interested in signing up for Stitch Fix, I will have my link below. I do appreciate it if you sign up. It does give you a free styling fee for the first time you signed up so it's absolutely free for the first time you do it and then it also gives me a $20 credit so that I can use it towards my future purchases so I do appreciate you so much if you do sign up don't feel obligated to do use that link but if you do thank you so much anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little stitch fix let me know what your thoughts are on it thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later mm -hmm.